Hey guys, I just had to do one quick upload today because it's stage 12 in the Ferrari La Ferrari Aperta event today and I was just going to point out some things about it. Just if anyone was wondering about the star rating requirements for today, it's a 3 star version of the car which is required to have that 3000 rank and yeah I can't stress this enough but I spent 10,000 tokens on that car and I have it at 1 star and 2 blueprints away from the 2nd star holding out again this week to see if I get those two blueprints for multiplayer or if I blow up again but yeah I'm just gonna stress like I would strongly 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 recommend not going for that car as somebody pointed out in one of the comments on the other video where I unlocked it they were like oh yeah this guy says don't unlock this car and then he proceeds to unlock it I had nearly 20,000 tokens left over if you've got somewhere in the region of 10 to 15,000 tokens that's how much it's gonna cost for today to be able to unlock that car and get it to three stars to be able to do it so get ready to spend out like yeah what is according to gameloft around 300 euros worth of tokens to unlock that car and like again i can't stress this enough not to do that if you have that amount of tokens and you don't have the other cars for this event and you're thinking like well i need to get some cars for the event the SLR is such a bad investment for this. Not only is it incredibly costly, but it's also really not a good car. Like these next event days involve the Hurricane Spider, the 570S and the Aventador J, which are three amazing cars. And if you have 10,000 or 15,000 tokens, these summertime speed rush packs like have a 20% drop rate of those three cars and like that's fantastic you'll be getting twice as many blueprints and for really good cars even if you were to come away from the aperta event without unlocking the aperta because you don't have that amount of tokens um spend the packs on the aventador 570 and the hurricane uh, packs instead because those are three amazing cars which will be used in a lot of events going forward in comparison to that slr which not only is it like really costly to unlock but think about it like this it's not even coming from any event so it doesn't have like it's not going to have a riot event at the end of unlocking it it's just going to be another car which sits in a garage and it might appear in other events going forward but these three lamborghinis show up in loads of multiplayer seasons and they're used in tons of events for the game so yeah just i know this one's kind of late going up because i was kind of thinking it was like when I unlock the car, will I put up a video that just goes, Arr? but no, I just said I'd actually point out the fact that, yeah, if you've been following through some of this event and you're missing out on those three cars and the SLR, just, yeah, go for these three guys. There's twice as many blueprints for them and they're very good cars and they're not this thing. Like, uh, it, it, I can't stress it enough like it's not an enjoyable car to drive in the slightest even maximum tuned at one star it's just it's way too kind of sluggish and heavy feeling and it's a single a B class car whereas with the Hurricane Evo Spider is a B class car but it's phenomenal fast and these two guys are really brilliant like both of those have the top speed and the Spider drives like the Grand Sport but kind of on steroids a small bit uh, even like tuned up quite a decent amount it is really nice and yeah these two are both they quite a, take quite a bit to get used to handling them but yeah those really do have nice top speeds this doesn't have any of that <laughs> it's still got a massive price tag and yeah it's just not enjoyable to drive but yeah i just said i'd throw this up today hopefully it's some bit helpful guys if you do find it helpful there's a sub button over my head and i'll be back to this tomorrow again when you're looking at the uh evo spider and yeah i can't stress this enough just like that slr is a money pit <laughs> and yeah if you can avoid it go for it and if you're gonna say like well i need to get something from this event and i don't have these other cars didn't get these other cars get from the uh the packs with the 20 percent thing because like coming out of this event if you just come away with the sslr like it will be a disappointing one whereas if you come away with these three cars yeah you'd be far far better off okay guys i said i'll leave it at that like i said there's a sub button over my head which may have appeared now and yeah click on that and if you want to follow along with all these days and i cover all the events in asphalt nine legends as well okay well good luck